Hello guys, welcome to another episode of The Business Plus. My name is Rachel Kahugo and today, once again, as always, we are having an amazing, amazing episode. But today is very, very, very unique because uh, Niko Kwa Bakery, ni vile tu sina apron, but guys, Niko Kwa Bakery, meona kwa intro. Niko Kwa Bakery and uh, we are having a very good discussion today because it's something that many bakers don't do. So you remember in the last episodes that we've done to make out Kisema that you have to be very unique in everything that you do. Whatever business you're doing, ukifanya tu mediocre, you won't make money from it. We say business is more than meets the eye. I'm not alone today. Uh, I'm with Baba Steph, aka Lija Mwaneki, but what wengi wanamjua Baba Steph. He's the founder and CEO of Flurry Bakers. Now, today hatuko na yeye peke yake. We're also here with people who are learning to make wedding cakes and they are not your ordinary wedding cakes yo they look wonderful so today we are going to be learning if you are a baker what are you supposed to do to make sure that your business stands out again what are you supposed to do to make sure that you make money from your business because you say business is more than meets the eye so call a friend tell our neighbor tell everyone that we are tuned in and that you're having an amazing show right here if you have any questions kama kawaida we're going to be getting back to you on our Facebook page, MBC ITV Facebook page, and MBC ITV official YouTube page. So, CN Mbali are going to be having an amazing show. We are so happy to be here. Wow. Very delighted. Karibuni sana, hopefully, Asante. Friday because. Asante sana. Yes. Now, I know we are going to be having a good discussion today, uh -huh. but Atta before Nyanze Masali, because they have so much to ask. Uh -huh. Just introduce yourself, then uh -huh. we can start. All right, so. The viewers, my name is Elijah Moneki, mm -hmm. aka Baba Steph. Yes. So, you know, Jina Usani. You know, Nili. Jina Usani. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, back in 2017, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, I was doing another business. Uh -huh. So, I was doing another business. And uh, 2017, that's when I got my daughter, mm -hmm. and it was Stephanie mm -hmm. Moneki. Okay. So, I changed from Elijah Moneki to Baba Steph. To Baba Steph. Proudly. Yes. Yeah. So, so I was doing Mambo Ya Cakes. So, mm -hmm. I guess what you will depend on your Baba Steph. Mm. So, so is the, if you ask people who is Elijah Moneki, not just a few. Mm. When you're meant to me, Mpesa. So, unless you're meant to me, Mpesa. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But uh, Baba Steph Mulina Julikana Sana. Julikana, okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about baking. Yeah. You've mentioned mm -hmm. how you can baking kitambo. Yes. So how did you get into baking? All right, it's a, it's a bit of a long story because mm -hmm. uh, myself, many people when I'm training, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I normally ask them, why are you in, in this baking? Mm -hmm. I normally want to be because I'm passionate about it yeah. and I have a need to do, mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. They have a need to cater for their bills. Yeah. But myself, I didn't come here because uh, I was passionate. It, it was a need. It was a need. Which now turned to be a passion. Mm -hmm. So back in 2017, as I said first, mm -hmm. eh, myself, I was not doing baking. Okay. Actually, I never thought about if I can do baking. Mm -hmm. eh? But uh, 2017, something happened. Mm -hmm. I was doing business here, yeah, Kuza Magari. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you hear my story, I tell people uh, a broker mm. who became a yeah. baker. Actually, it started from banking. Mm -hmm. Before a bro uh, So you broking, were a banker? Uh, yes, I was a banker. Okay. I did computer science, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a long story. Okay, I have. It's a long story, maybe. I will, we are going Say to do it, the yeah, show. Yeah, another episode. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, after banking, I went to a broker. I mm -hmm. was selling cars, lands, mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. eh? Then in uh, 2017, that's when uh, tragic something happened. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, I bought two cars online from uh, from a broker Zwingina. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they were con men. Mm -hmm. And that's it's how. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was on two cars. Mm -hmm. Uh, the cars almost made me die because mm -hmm. I was jailed for like a whole week. Mm -hmm. Then after that, Nikatoka, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a lot happened mm -hmm. that one week when mm -hmm. I was there mm -hmm. because now the con men went with some money mm -hmm. and while uh, the police were going to come and say, they the most of some, the some money. Some good money as well. Some good money. Uh -huh. So Niki, the whole thing uh, made me to have depression mm -hmm. because you see now, uh, that time, that's when Stephanie alikuwa nazaliwa. Yeah. Remember now my wife ndio, uh, mepata mtoto. Mm. And so yuko job. Na yuko job, mm. mindo naangaliwa. Mm. Then all of a sudden, 
imeenda mm. pesa yote mm. i don't even have pe- uh, money i can take her mm. to the maternity mm. and bring her back mm-hmm. or, or buy diapers yeah. so i went to depression mm-hmm. then after uh, i i went for depression for almost six months mm-hmm. i didn't know what to do mm-hmm. and uh, the those things it was not at that time i just wanted to die mm-hmm. because now i didn't see future yeah. in my life yeah. then uh, good, the good thing i had people who stood with me mm-hmm. that time mm-hmm. because they knew what was happening mm-hmm. a lot happens but the good thing is one cousin of mine mm-hmm. uh anafanya baking pia anaitwa mm-hmm. Aunt Priska yeah. or Jesus okay. yeah so yeah. that's lady ndiye alikuja akaniambia what because now you don't have anything to do mm-hmm. why why don't you try baking mm-hmm. so myself i didn't see the reason why i should do this mm-hmm. baking yeah? because you remember nimekwambia i'm doing business yeah. here ya broker magari to sell mm-hmm. lands and those people uh, digs once you, once you hit a deal you get good money yeah. so i was thinking one kg of cake it's 1500 mm-hmm. when will we like get to this million that yeah. i had but anyway i said i don't have anything mm-hmm. to lose so kaingia kwa baking nikaingia tu kwa baking uh-huh. so uh nikaingia kwa baking and uh my cousin there in Panaka Shule mm. i went to one of the teachers and it was a police here mm-hmm. of Bikas club mm-hmm. and i trained for only two days mm-hmm. two days only two days uh-huh. yeah so after two days you shakwa abeka that was it yes okay now how long do you train your students i know we haven't mentioned that mm-hmm. but how long do you st- train your students uh we have different sessions uh-huh. but uh like for beginners mm-hmm. like now the class i did for two days mm-hmm. we took it for four days for four days then after that we have master class mm-hmm. now the wedding class uh we took it for four days mm-hmm. we also have the traditional classes mm-hmm. also it's four days okay yes so this is the wedding master class. no the, the class that you're doing right now it's a wedding master class okay yeah and they're very very beautiful cake thank you but even before we get there mm-hmm. Um uh, you say that you train your students for four days mm-hmm. but before one the training mm-hmm. ulendo kafunzwa kwa a trainer ama ulendo kafunzwa ku bake <laughs> ama how did how did you just ulijikuta je umeanza ku train the story is story uh, is very interesting yeah because uh, when, when, uh, i told you i was uh, battling depression yeah, yeah. so the time we nilianza ku bake uh, i'm good in you know, in online marketing mm. So yeah. everything I do back at home mm-hmm. I used to post in a group called Bikas Club. Okay. So and uh, when I was giving uh, posting those pictures mm-hmm. I used to give the, my story. Mm-hmm. This the bank who start, who became a broker and mm-hmm. now it's a baker. Yeah. So people used to I guess I thought they are loving the kicks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I thought it is the story that too, they were loving. Oh. So every time I put a post they, mm-hmm. they used to like my post. So I so wanna kicks. Yeah, and that liking mm-hmm. actually ili Niliona ai akuna wana watu wanapenda what I'm doing mm. and I started healing mm. so I started loving baking okay. so could, so that is where passion came yes. in okay so one day mm-hmm. uh, nime post a photo actually your photo na angalia ngai na shanga mm. what that student so mm-hmm. because aliangalia kaniuliza alikuwa within hours in Moranga hapo mm. Keno mm-hmm. so one student akaniuliza can you train and kamwambia yes even i didn't know how to charge mm. so kanuza siku moja tanilipisha pesa ngapi nikamwambia 2000 kana mimi nitakuja so akakuja for 3 days and i got 6000 you remember still yeah. i was broke yeah. that was a lot of money mm. for, for me mm-hmm. so nika nika na wow this is a business yeah. so i can start training mm-hmm. so, so you saw a need i saw a need yeah. in the industry mm-hmm. so nikaanza ku train it was not so good like the way i do it right now yeah. because now i have done it for 5 years mm-hmm. but that time i struggled training but the good thing is that student the first student who, who i started with is mm-hmm. still baking and she's doing so well amazing yes. amazing so we got to from step to step to step pole pole mm-hmm. you're still growing yes now today we're talking about specifically mm-hmm. training wedding cakes mm-hmm. because as you can see you're training them how to make wedding cakes yeah maybe um what is one uh, or what are the major mistakes zenye mm-hmm. watu ufanya while mm-hmm. they're making wedding cakes uh wedding cakes eh? first of all is uh what her journey costing mm-hmm. so unapata um, once they take an order mm-hmm. only charge less mm-hmm. so a wedding cake is a lot of work if you ask these students mm-hmm. here we have been here since uh, uh monday mm-hmm. and it hasn't been any easy yeah. you see now we are working for four days mm-hmm. eh? now i'm choka sana mm-hmm. then after all that mm-hmm. eh, unapata after mifanyo kazi yote mm-hmm. they didn't charge labor because 
walifikiria tu ni ndurins and everything yeah. waka charge na transport mm. ya yeah, actually ya one mm-hmm. they, they didn't know that you ah, have to charge yeah. two mm-hmm. so napata after all after the whole week mm-hmm. you don't have anything Ah, so you do a lot of work, but yes. it's akuna income. They didn't have, money. yes, they didn't have, they didn't charge labor money, mm-hmm. they didn't charge profit money. Mm-hmm. So, so mm-hmm. the legal requirements, all yes. those, yeah. those are the mistakes that some of the mistakes that huh, mm. they do. Okay. The other thing, they don't have the skills. Mm-hmm. So you took a wedding, you charge a lot, mm-hmm. then you didn't give it justice okay. the way it's supposed. So yeah. once you take it to the venue. Mm-hmm the people are not happy about what you brought and mm-hmm. that's how you get posting uh, online mm-hmm. uh, what i ordered was what i what got what i got yeah. yeah we get that a lot yes so mm-hmm. it's because the beca didn't invest mm-hmm. myself um, i said uh, i said i went for two days mm-hmm. in class but behind the scene after that mm-hmm. i didn't stop there okay. i have been doing online uh, learning from youtube mm-hmm. learning from other bakers mm-hmm. i normally visit other bakers mm-hmm. and ask them how do you do this okay. how how do you make sure your cake is not slanted because the mm-hmm. first cakes that i did for wedding cakes they were slanting mm-hmm. some some were falling mm-hmm. down so i was asking them how do you do this and they showed me because mm-hmm. they are my friends yeah. and that's how i have grown mm-hmm. yes and not so, being a, a trainer uh-huh. i have to learn a lot because i want need to impact other yes, people need to train other people yeah. and uh, you've mentioned something and i've seen that mistake with a lot of bakers for mm-hmm. wedding cakes for mm-hmm. birthday cakes mm-hmm. generally mm-hmm. cakes you slant mm-hmm. what is usually the reason the reason is trimming they trimming. didn't trim well mm-hmm. then there's something called dowling mm-hmm. you put a uh, like uh, when you came here mm-hmm. where there are some uh, plastic dowels you put yeah they, they look like straws mm. You need to dowel your cake well so that it doesn't slant. Ah, yes. amazing. Yeah. Now, yeah. what are some of the skills that you've impacted mm-hmm. to make sure that even as you train them, mm-hmm. you train them very well and they don't miss anything? Because now this is the foundation mm-hmm. and they're only doing it for four days. Mm-hmm. So that how to put for four days, mm-hmm. then by the time one talker, mm-hmm. they haven't gotten everything that they need to get in these four days. What are some of the things that you do? So the good thing about my classes, mm-hmm. when I train, I don't like say, let me give a little so that they can come back. Yeah. I give everything that I have learned. Mm-hmm. You can ask the students, they are here. Mm-hmm. So myself, I whatever I actually I keep learning new tricks, eh? mm-hmm. and uh, so that I can be able to impact them more. Ah, yes, you can. Okay. You, uh, you can be sure whatever I, st- I started training mm-hmm. is not the same way I'm training ah, right now. So yes. okay, baby. because okay, I have uh, I have gained knowledge. Okay. Like there's a time uh, uh, we invited teachers from Nigeria, mm-hmm. so they brought uh, uh, skills. I also learned from there, mm. and uh, now you can be sure my my classes went a bit higher yeah. because now I have even uh, skills from mm, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's mm. really interesting. Yeah. Now I wanted to take a short break so mm-hmm. that you can give us some tips so that also people who are learning, ama when you already work in the baking industry, mm-hmm. they should know what they are supposed to do so that you'll make your business worth it. To say my business is more than meets the eye, and you have to make money from business. So we're getting into the business on one, then we'll be coming right back. All right, so these are some of the tips that uh, I would like to give to bakers for you to grow in this baking industry. So the first thing is invest in skills because most of the bakers on Abata, they are going to this field without skills. Hence, uh, when they take the kick to the uh, clients, they are so disappointed. So please invest in skill from di- different schools. You can also come to our school that is Ferry Bakers. Now, the other thing is please learn about posting because this is one of the major problem when a baker starts uh, making cakes. Um, you get a, a baker start baking, but they don't know how to charge a cake and they end up having losses. They don't have, they don't know how to charge for the labor money. They don't also to charge for the profit of the business so that the business can grow. The other thing is, and the major thing is marketing. So some people uh, have the skills, they know how no, they know how to, to cost, but they don't know how to market. Please, even if even you can pay on Facebook or on Instagram, please pay those influencers so they can market your your job. Also, please be vocal in all social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and also Instagram and other social media platforms. The last and uh, not the least, yeah? you can do uh, networking. Please network with other bakers so that you can learn the latest trends. So those are some of the 
uh, tips that I can give to bakers for you to grow. And also, if you need to advance in skill, come to our bakery and we are going to give you those skills so that I can grow in business. So thank you very much. My name is Elijah Moneki. I'm the CEO of Freddy Bakers and you're watching Business Plus. Hello guys, we are back after the Business 101. Na kama wewe ni baker, now you know what you're supposed to do for your business to grow. I love that there's something that I've learned. Mm -hmm. Of late, I'm just taking notes, crazy shoes. Baby, if you're not taking notes, you're the one who has a problem. I've also learned that you're not supposed to do your job mediocre. I'm getting that a lot. Mm -hmm. You have to be very, very perfect in what you're doing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So we are back. I hope that you're taking notes and I hope that you're calling your friends. You're writing down questions if you have questions and we are going to be getting back to you. Now, as you can see, I have a flower here. We're going to be talking about it later. And I'm going to be talking about wedding cakes, mm -hmm. mostly wedding cakes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to be talking about them. But let me ask, mm -hmm. because you're talking about training mm -hmm. and uh, you've said that you make sure you train your students very well and mm -hmm. you give them all the skills. Mm -hmm. Raising your competitors. Uh, okay, competition is a zime I for mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. So, but myself, uh, I always tell them mm -hmm. what you can compete, not in terms of like lowering the prices, mm -hmm. so that it can beat your competitors with prices. Yeah. Because I realize uh, most bakers, what mm -hmm. they compete with prices, mm -hmm. they think like if I lower prices, like um, chin, mm -hmm. uh, the, the RT, like the other bakers charging like. 2000 yeah what if i charge 1500 15. mm -hmm. so you'll end up making losses because you'll have yeah. a lot of work yeah. and also you'll not be able to deliver right so that's why competition will be there mm -hmm. but i tell my students always compete with creativity mm. what and learn more skills mm. that so that customers can come to you because of their creativity yeah. not because the prices that, are down yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's very important yeah. so how do you make sure that your business remains very unique and relevant so all the time uh, I'm doing research mm. on new trends mm -hmm. of cakes mm -hmm. because if you remain like ile tu cake ya kawaida you know now the market of of Kenya is mm -hmm. growing big yeah because uh like even I remember the last time I did a, a cake for memorial for people who died so mm. the market is big yeah. you're making the cake for people who died I really make that joke Ooh. it's bad yeah. but yeah. we really make so the for the market market is every yeah so, but the challenge is, mm -hmm. the more the market is growing, the, the customers are looking for new trades. So they yeah. go to the pins, as they call it, Pinterest, mm. and then download those uh, big cakes from America. Yeah. Yes. So they want that. They want that. And you have to get the skill to make yes. that. So for you to, to do it uh, the, just exactly the way it is, mm. you need to upgrade your skills. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm holding these, mostly to your nanga for wedding cake. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. How do you make the flowers? Because as you can see, they're so perfect. Mm -hmm. So what do you need? How how much time does it take? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this this is, we call it sugar flour. Sugar flour. So the petals are edible. Mm -hmm. So they are one, edible. Yes. You can just pluck mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bit hard. Uh -huh. And it's, ah, it's sugar. Okay. But uh, learning this, mm -hmm. it really needs a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. Learning, we can take two days yeah. to learn. Mm -hmm. But for you to perfect, it takes a bit of time because mm -hmm. you have to keep uh, repeating this, the, the training, yeah. um, uh, the, the skill, mm -hmm. so that you can be able to as in perfect it. Okay. So it doesn't take one day, mm -hmm. it's a process. Six just come yes. you're done. And there are so many sugar flowers, like this one is called magnolia. Like if they you have check, names? yes, they have okay. names. So this is called magnolia, mm -hmm. and we have now the filler flowers with these cakes. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, peonies. Mm -hmm. We have roses. Mm -hmm. So you need so to keep different. adding, yeah. yes, yeah. knowledge on these flowers. Okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about, uh, for example, this one type of cake. Mm -hmm. Uh, we see them in in weddings. Mm -hmm. So probably mm -hmm. for a baker who's just starting up, mm -hmm. how do you get to get this cake from your bakery? Mm -hmm. To the reception and make sure that body go intact so uh no sometimes delivery is one of the hardest work yeah because uh when you make them at the bakery mm -hmm. uh it is very beautiful mm. now the customer wants to see that beauty yeah you see if your cake 
most of, of the customers, mm. they eat the cake from the outside. Mm -hmm. So if the cake is not looking good, even the, the inside, they'll mm. say it was bad. Even, yes. even if you have used the best recipes mm. from Freddy, because mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. you sell the recipes. Oh, you do? But, yeah. okay. but if you have a, a, a very sweet cake inside, mm. but it is looking bad at the outside, mm. they won't like it. Yeah. So you end up losing customer. Mm -hmm. So delivering is one of the most challenging. Uh -huh. So uh, for, for wedding cakes, mm -hmm. you see like the way they are stuck, they are very tall. Yeah. But we don't call it them because now our roads are not good for this. Mm. Uh, if you check like Nigerian, some stack a toll cake and deliver it as it is uh -huh. because I guess their roads are better. Mm -hmm. So our roads sometimes cannot uh, be yeah. good for these. Yeah. Roads. Yes, so yeah. we carry it as a piece, each mm -hmm. piece. Pekeake. Pekeake. Okay. Yes. So you have to learn how to stock them. Okay, work on ground already. Yes, we normally go to uh, Nini stack them at the ground ah. and do the finishing. Like you can do the the borders. Mm. If you need to do piping, the flowers mm. fixing, we do it at the okay. ground. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, what are some of the challenges that you faced when you started uh, trading people? Uh, challenges, Nini, uh, because uh, like no, myself, I don't do anything else. Mm -hmm. So the challenging is uh, sometimes. Uh, this month you don't have student the other mm. one you don't uh, you have yeah. you have mm. so that's a big a, a big challenge yeah. yeah so right now you've uh, specifically majored with training students yeah so you're training them for wedding cakes yes from the, uh, we start mm. from beginners uh -huh. we are, there are those people who have never mm. baked mm -hmm. so we start from there okay. then after that that's when they can come and do wedding ah, cakes. Yeah. amazing yeah so how do you balance creativity mm -hmm. to make sure that the cake looks very good mm -hmm. but also to mm -hmm. make sure that it's still very good for consumption mm -hmm. and uh, um, it's still healthy for people to take because i know with creativity mm -hmm. it might come mm -hmm. with adding in a lot of flavors with adding mm -hmm. in a lot of uh, as you've said the borders mm -hmm. so how do you balance that so for creativity uh, someone needs to be artistic mm -hmm. yes okay. that one helps a lot eh? mm -hmm. But also the creativity mm -hmm. you learn from other people. Yeah. So you can like uh, check uh -huh. what did this other baker do on this cake, mm -hmm. and tr you try to like uh, copy what they did. Yeah. Then you're going to come because you cannot copy exact thing. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to come up with your own creativity. Ah. So that's how you uh, you end up with your own creativity. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, you've also said that you sell recipes. Yes. So as flavor bakers, yes. which are some of your favorite recipes for cakes? So we have passion vanilla, uh -huh. we have orange cake, uh -huh. we have uh, our signature cake is black forest. Uh -huh. So people oh, love... Oh, the signature cake? Yes, okay. black okay. forest. Uh -huh. Yes, and we had another flavor we're calling fresh vanilla. Uh -huh. Still one of the best. Ah, yes. Amazing. So is it... Is it uh, very important mm -hmm. for a baker to mm -hmm. have a signature cake? Or when a tengeneza cake is the same and that's it? Yes, you need to have a signature cake because when I'm training them to uh, marketing, mm. I always tell them, please uh, have a signature cake that when you bake, mm -hmm. everyone will love that cake. Yeah. So that when you want to do marketing, mm -hmm. you can even do some slices of, of cakes. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, the place of work, give some pieces. Ah, for and tasting. That, and, and yes, for tasting. Yeah, and yeah. you're sure those people are going to love that mm. cake. Okay, yes. so it's but very there's, important. There, there's some flavors you can bake, mm -hmm. like uh, let's say, like red velvet. Mm. People don't like, not all love uh, uh, colored cakes. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're going to end up losing mm, uh, clients. Some customers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so for someone who has been baking for a long time mm -hmm. and they feel like they are very good at baking mm -hmm. and they now want to get into training students mm -hmm. how to bake, mm -hmm. how is the transition? What, what do they need exactly? So uh, first of all, uh, they need to have that passion mm -hmm. to grow. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what we look as we don't look for certificates. Yeah. We look for that person who needs, who has that passion mm. because that's what helps person because this work is not easy. Mm -hmm. If you don't have passion, yeah. you, you're going to give up. Mm -hmm. It's tiring, mm -hmm. really tiring. Okay. Yes, okay. so that's what we look for, ah. passion. Someone who wants to grow in their business. Yes. Si kukatu, mm -hmm. take a soft life. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and how do you get your students? How do you get to market yourself? just to make sure that at all times you mm -hmm. have people you're training mm -hmm. because as you've said mm -hmm. say you've, you've stopped baking mm -hmm. and now you've majored in training students mm -hmm. but also at some point in December that has been the biggest challenge mm -hmm. because sometimes you don't have people to train mm -hmm. so how do you balance that just to make sure that akuna season and yakuna mtu you have to train 
All right, so for me, uh, I told you uh, I had a had an addiction of uh, being in the social social media. Yeah. So that one has helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. Eh? So when I started business, I used the platform so well. Okay. Because actually, I'm like online 24/7, mm-hmm. even when I'm sleeping. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But uh, uh, I'm very active in, in on social media mm-hmm. platforms mm-hmm. like Facebook. I'm very vocal okay. there. Okay. We have a page. Mm-hmm. I also had have a group. Uh, mm-hmm. My page is called Freddy Bakers. Okay. I have a group where I have uh, brought. together bakers mm. and uh, cake eaters so mm. you can also join that group okay. it's called the wakaji bakers haven okay. wakaji meaning meaning bakers mm. in swahili okay. so i have brought them together mm. so that uh, we can share knowledge ah. there sometimes you can get me i have i'm doing uh, some live videos mm. on that group for mm. free and ah. i train them yeah just to train people yes. so it's something you're so passionate about yes i'm very passionate about I love training that. yeah i love that mm-hmm. well thank you so much for having us today you're most welcome um i know we we at wizi maliza kuongea kila kitu yes but at least i know by now for mm. the bakers they have gotten something that they need to do mm-hmm. for their businesses to grow sure Then I'm also getting from this conversation mm-hmm. that in this world of baking mm-hmm. kuna very many dimensions. Mm-hmm. You can decide to do birthday cakes, mm-hmm. to train, mm-hmm. to do wedding cakes yeah. and maybe something else. Mm, even making these flowers, you can sell these flowers. Ah, you can yes. make the flowers like, like this flower is like 400 mm. and you go to just one. So just one this one. Okay. 400 uh-huh. and you go. So you can decide to make just flowers. Ah, yes. so it's very wide. Yes, you can okay. decide to make four and then sell. Mm, yeah. Right, mm, right. It's very wow. wide. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much for having us today. I know that you have learned as a baker what is supposed to do for your business to grow. And also if you are specifically a wedding baker, you know what you're supposed to do for your wedding cake to look so amazing. Now see you see under charge just because you know na kuna competition. You're supposed to make your skills be It's now quite very unique so that anyone who wants a wedding cake watakuja kwako. So this has been the business plus my name is Rachel Kahogo. We've had an amazing show right here from Fre- uh, Freely Bakers, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in. We'll be having a repeat of the same on Friday at 7:30 in the PM. We'll meet next week on Monday 7:30 kama leo and I'm sure you're going to be getting an, an uh, another amazing episode. So we'll see you next week but till then my name is Rachel Kahogo. Bye.